Hello everyone, welcome to our documentary project by team number 6. At first, let me introduce our team members very briefly. Our team includes me, Nguyễn Ước Trung and Nguyễn Lan Hương. We are both secondary students from Class 16 E1, majoring in Pedagogy at University of Language and International Studies. In our 3B style course of CLC program, one of our big assignments is documentary project. Like any other group, we conduct this project with the aim of using its results as a reliable source for our research in a 3C style course. Well, without further ado, please enjoy our very first documentary. And well, I hope you guys won't feel uncomfortable watching sharp, terrible editing skill of mine. At first, we found really hard to find a suitable topic for our documentary project, since every aspect is so worth investigating. One day, when searching on the web, Hung found a video of Yulit's student, which later left her with so many thoughts. Okay, honey, do you like pedicure too? Uh, no, no, just my nails. Honey, why you don't lie? I wonder what factors that prevent students from improving their speaking efficiency. Hmm, this chain of thought urges me to do a research on speaking. I instantly jump at my laptop and start looking for previous researches on speaking ability to investigate the problems students often meet when they deliver an academic speech. However, as I surf through hundreds of research papers, I notice something, something mysterious. Something is missing. Maybe this is the last piece of puzzle. Oh, you must be curious about what I have found out, right? The thing is, there are tons of research papers on speaking efficiency in general, but hardly any of those focus on fluency. Why is that, I wonder? Because as I notice, most Vietnamese students struggle when trying to keep the flow of their speech rather than coming up with ideas. I must find out what kinds of obstacles that Vietnamese students are facing when improving their fluency. Once they are aware of their problems, I think it would be much easier to learn from their mistakes and make progress. This curiosity has urged us to investigate on the specific field of fluency. Well, we hope our research somewhat could help students realize their weaknesses and overcome the obstacles in the path of improving Fluencies. During the interview and surveys process, we divided into two parts, which are preparation and implementation. During the preparation, we investigated a lot of previous research papers relating to fluency in the view of creating the most reliable survey and interview question set. We carefully picked out fluency test sample marking criteria and questionnaire as well from IELTS test, British Council and many previously done research papers to compile a complete question set. We expect this set could help us find out an objective way the obstacle that university students are facing when trying to improve their fluency. Next, we look up timetables of third-year students to make sure we could reach all English third-year classes. Then, we also contact several first-year students majoring in English for the interview, and we managed to receive acceptances from 15 students. During the implementation, we printed out our survey papers and interview questions. 
Then we went to almost every class to deliver the service papers. Of course, before entering each class, we politely knock first, then ask the teacher for permission. Then we talk a bit about our research topic and method to give them the slightly understanding. After that, we explain how to fill in the survey in a correct way, as well as ask them if they were still confused about anything. We offer to answer anything they ask about the question in our survey, as we didn't want them to misunderstand any question. We politely ask them when we could come back to collect papers. We proceed to other classes. It took us one whole afternoon to have our survey papers all collected. Exhausted as we were, we did feel motivated seeing the students were really nice and supportive. The next three days were spent on the interview. Although we intended to interview 15 students, only eight managed to spare time for us. We made appointments with them in a quiet place to carry out our interview. We introduced ourselves, our project, and purpose first. Then we used our phones to film them answering our questions. We tried to move slowly and tenderly from one question to another and focus on asking them for further elaboration. To be more detailed. Firstly, we requested their personal information, which includes their names and classes. Then, we asked for their perception on the importance of fluency to test their awareness. And after that, we asked for their self-judgment on their level of fluency, if it's below average, or average, or intermediate. The reason we wanted to know their level was that for each level, they would have different difficulties. Therefore, each student would meet another kind of obstacle. Then we asked each student to elaborate on the obstacles they encounter when trying to maintain their flow of speech. This cell elaboration will make sure that we receive objective opinions from all students. After the interview and further discussions, we have came up with really interesting results. When testing the awareness of the importance of fluency, we have come to the conclusion that all of our participants stated that speaking is the most important skill among the four skills reading, writing, speaking, listening, and fluency is the prior factors when speaking. It means that they are aware of its importance. Five out of eight of our participants stated that Vocabulary and grammatical range does have a great effect on their fluency. In detail, which they mean is that when trying to perfect their vocab, their words, and their grammar structures to avoid mistakes, they easily lost their flow. Here are two quotes from two different students when referring about how vocab and grammar affect the way. They keep the flow going. The second result that we found out is that when asking about self-esteem problem, three out of eight of our participants stated that fear of crowds also contributes to lack of fluency, which they mean is that confidence is one of the most important factors when trying to keep their flow going. And this is a quote from one of our interviewees when referring to confidence. Another important finding of ours is that eight out of eight, which is one hundred percent of our participants, stated that their secondary and high school teachers focus only on grammar, which means that they lack a lot of practice when being high schoolers or secondary students. Because teachers did not put the importance of speaking ability forward. 
After compiling and analyzing the results, we have come to the interpretation that vocabulary and grammatical range have the greatest impact on students when they try to keep their flow of speech. Firstly, they spend too much time finding the most suitable words and grammar structures for their ideas, and then they lost track of where they were in their speech after having found the right words or structure. Lastly, they feel exhausted and less motivated every time they have to stop to think about grammar. Another interpretation we have for that, fear of crowds intimidate students when speaking, which means that they felt scared when facing eye contact of the audience and they felt the pressure of being watched. After a long and hard analyzing process, we have finally come to the conclusion that there are several factors that affect the fluency of students when they speak, with a lack of vocab and grammar, fear of crowds, and the lack of practice. Although our research still has a lot of flaws, we hope that it will somewhat help the students realize their weaknesses to improve in the learning process. Thank you for your attention, and lastly, we'll have some of our acknowledgements. <laughs>